Okay, uh, good question. Any doubts on Ethereum rolling out ETH 2.0 before the next generation of blockchains? Okay, so let me take a step back. So recently, uh, some Ethereum developers posted on Reddit, I think it was on Reddit, that they believe Ethereum 2.0 will have to wait until early 2021 to launch. Then Vitalik chimed in basically saying that he would rather have them launch early this year because time frame was end of Q2, early Q, early Q, Q, Q3. But in typical Ethereum and Vitalik fashion, they've missed the deadline again and it, their launch to staking has now been pushed back again. I mean, this is really the running meme in crypto. But I mean, we're still bullish on ETH, on ETH 2.0. Uh, that we think that's going to change the entire space because it will be the second most popular cryptocurrency now having staking. Uh, I mean, even though staking has now kind of become the norm amongst, amongst all the other altcoins, they've kind of been the first ones to really uh, do that. Okay, I don't know, sorry. Uh, are we still online, people? Uh, sorry, let me just do it. Okay, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my, my iPad went off and uh, I thought I lost the signal. Okay, yeah, so ETH 2.0, very bullish on it. Now, will other blockchains really, I mean, so I think when he says other blockchains, we have to really pick out which blockchains can actually compete with Ethereum, right? So, I mean, Cardano and Shelly, I mean, Cardano has been going up a lot because of Shelly. Uh, so there's definitely one to keep an eye on. And honestly, at this point, I think other next-gen blockchains will, will get there, right? Cardano and Shelly is launching, I believe, in August. So that's definitely one to keep an eye on. Uh, Cardano has been pumping as a result of that. Um, now, whether or not it will be well-received, well right? It could be maybe people just kind of following in based on the hype and that, that milestone. But I think it really... I mean, the, the space is now more competitive. We have Elrond, which is coming out, Zilliqa. There's so many more blockchains. We have Cosmos and Atom. Uh, so many blockchains, and almost all of them now are switching to proof of stake. So Ethereum, if anything, will be the last major blockchain to the party of staking. So, I mean, to answer your question, any doubts on Ethereum rolling out ETH 2.0 before the next-gen blockchains? I think they'll, they'll be late, right? But... I still think though because it's Ethereum and they have the largest network community, they, they have the biggest network effects and largest developer community. I think people will will still support it a lot more than any of these other blockchains that have proof of staking, right? Because Ethereum is Ethereum. Uh, Bill, uh, your your take? Yeah, just one one side note. In other words, what? What gets what stops this delay cycle from the Ethereum development community? Well, I'm not going to comment on anything on the technology side, but the way the market can put pressure on them is by having the Cardanos, the Cosmos, these other competing blockchains, I don't know, dare I say it, start mooning or at least continue their uptrends or expanding in market cap. In other words, you know, competition is what fuels business. It fuels better products, cheaper products, et cetera. So if Cardano and all the other blockchains continue to rise on the market cap charts, um, that might raise an eyebrow uh, at Ethereum headquarters, right? Because right now there's really no pressure on them. I don't necessarily want to put pressure on them, but, you know, the, nothing, the world doesn't stop spinning. So the competitors are out there and however, if they can make enough noise, then they may have to move faster. Yeah. Well said, Bill. Well said. Uh, somebody's saying only Neo can compete or be better than Ethereum. Uh, I'm not sure about that, James. Not sure about that. <laughs> not sure whether you're in China right now <laughs> and uh, just wink. Uh, if you're under duress, <laughs> I kid, I kid, James, I kid. Yeah, I mean, um, Neo is also watching Neo 3.0. So, I mean, yeah, so if you add Neo 3.0, if you add 
Shelly with Cardano. I mean, Ethereum has some heavy competition, so definitely keep an eye out on that. Because somebody, uh, Alpha Diallo, I'm sorry, Demis says, Vitalik's inexperience in business and project management is what's slowing it down. Okay, all right. Uh, Vitalik, if you're watching this, uh, Demis has spoken. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you, crypto family. Tell us what you think down in the comments below.